Hello, everybody. Welcome to OCD Hi-Fi Guy. Today I am OCD HVAC Guy. I'm in the crawl space right now, trying to determine what this defunct POS is doing. And I even bought the highfalutin version, the Prestige Series Ream, which is supposed to be the bomb diggity. And uh, four ton, uh, sear, 16 sear, you know? I mean, it's supposed to be the killer. It's got like a limited lifetime warranty and heat exchanger, all that crap, whatever. Um, but the fan, we're getting no fan up there and it's Georgia and it's summer and there's no AC and it blows. Captain, she blows. And uh, so I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, and um, hey, any of you guys HVAC guys, come on. Come on over, you guys probably know a trick. You got it right up your sleeve. The first things to check, I was presume, is voltage. See if I'm getting voltage here, but I think uh, I don't see why it would just stop dead like that. Um, I'll have to find out why, but I'll get to the bottom of it. Normally, there's a PCB in there that has codes on it, but the PCB isn't even lit up. Breaker's on the main breaker over there. You see that up there? And that puppy's turned on the main switch. So I'll have to figure this out, and uh, I'll let you know how I did. All right, see you. Okay, well, I figured out what it was. It's this uh, damn, it is the motor, in, in fact. And uh, I got one right over there, bought a new one. Uh, and uh, we're gonna have to pull, slid the squirrel cage out now. And I'll have to get in there, pull it out a little bit more, and then replace that puppy rat channel. And then uh, I'll have some damn air conditioning, thank God. I can breathe, it's been 90 degrees up there in the shade. So, see so you. Hey, look, it's my top secret squirrel door. I go in the squirrel door back there, over there. Look at that. Yeah, I gotta go down here, man. I'll tell you, squirrel's kicking my ass. I got this squirrel cage off and uh, trying to get that damn fan off the spindle. Whoa, doggy. I think I just beat the crap out of it using my lineman's pliers. That didn't work too well. So now I have a hammer. And uh, we'll hammer it and see if we can't mushroom the tip of that thing so I can't get it through the cow the, through the fan slot even better than now. You guys want to see how goofy I look? <laughs> yeah, man. How's that for scary? Look at that shit. Would you trust this guy in your house? I don't think so. I don't think I'd trust that guy over there. Not Mikey. He's looking pretty scruffy. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Uh, maybe let him go down in the squirrel hole. I'll let him go down in the squirrel hole. Okay. I'm going to go down in the squirrel hole now. I'll just talk, talk to you guys later. Okay. See ya. Oh, man. Was I just talking to myself? I think I, I wasn't videotaping that. Okay. Where did we leave off? Anyways, here's a squirrel cage. And, um... Yeah, I was showing you how I hammered the crap out of that spindle right there. Is it mushroomed? I don't know. Um, but uh, I've got all these wires, man. So many wires on this side of this thing over here. All back wired in. I'm going to shove it in the hole and put the thing back in. Put that motor, new motor in here, over here. Put it over here. Put it in, in the hole. Back over here, fix that up. Wire. And then I'm going to have air conditioning. Yeah, nice. All right, see you. And the saga continues. There's Big John now. Now it's 1030 at night. Big John is... Uh, making sure the squirrel cage is completely balanced because that motor inside the mount there is extremely hard to get perfectly level and not cocked and look at that not scraping that's beautiful it's really i mean there's no way you could do that inside the crawl space it had to be brought in here and it's been like very precise work so <laughs> maybe uh Maybe there was something to the two thousand dollars. No, there wasn't. Um, they probably gonna buy the whole squirrel cage and replace the whole thing. That looks like it's going going good, man. Yeah. So the saga continues into the evening. We'll be down there putting the squirrel cage into the into the furnace and getting this going tonight, hopefully, so we can watch Hi Fi later. See you. Listen to that. It's the sound of success. Let's see. Yeah, man, that sounds like a nice, pretty new motor in there. We got her did and done. 
Thanks to old Jono. I couldn't have done it without him. <laughs> that looks like a funky, funky sump pump. Is that pretty pump? Yeah, I didn't think nifty. Is there water in there? Yep. Watron. All right, comes on we'll test that gets, out. When the float gets uh, up, it we comes on later. automatically. Oh my God, you guys, look at that. 73. When I came in here yesterday, 90 degrees. 90 degrees, man, inside the house. It was horrible. I'm so glad we got this figured out. I'm so glad we got this figured out. Good old Jono came over and we took care of that thing, man. First shot, put it in, everything worked perfectly. Thank God nothing else was broken. All right, y'all. See you. Well, now that the air conditioning's working again, I think it's time for a steak. What do you guys think? Prime New York? I think so. Put it in the grill. Mmm, let's see here. Maybe one of these. Uh, one of these. Uh, maybe uh, one of these over here. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that marbling. Maybe one of these puppies. Uh, we got, oh yeah, maybe this one down here, huh? Maybe that one, huh? You guys want to come over for steak? Mmm, <laughs> I can't wait to eat this stuff. Costco has the best beef. All right, see you.